Hello fellow collectors and G fans, this is Marlo back again with yet another NECA video review. And this time we have the NECA Godzilla King of the Monsters figure in hand. Let's take a closer look at the box before we uh, take a closer look at the figure. We have some nice artwork here of the latest version of Godzilla. Really cool looking image. And the figure comes in the all too familiar boxes that we collectors are starting to become familiar with much like the other figures from the NECA Ultimate series if you want to go ahead and pause the video if you want to read any of that I'm gonna move on as fast as I can the back of the box right there again showing some images of Upcoming figures in the collection, minus King Ghidorah, unfortunately, but we have Rodan and Mothra to look forward to. The other side of the package here, with some points about the figure. And again, like the Ultimate Series boxes, we have the flap door that opens up with the Velcro that holds it in place. And the window showing the figure inside and I'm already excited just looking at the figure there's also an instruction sheet so I think that might be one of the first times I recall seeing an instruction sheet in package so that's it so without further ado let's go ahead and open up this figure and take a closer look at Godzilla King of the Monsters out of package and here we have the Godzilla King of the Monsters figure out of package and you can see he just comes in two parts here the main body with the tail separate pretty much similar to a lot of the NECA Godzilla figures the instruction sheet here has uh, some instructions for how to apply the tail for those of you that don't know yet you can warm up the part either in some warm water or I recommend a blow dryer if you have that handy to avoid, you know, burning yourself with some hot water. And simply apply the tail afterwards. So I've already gone ahead and done that. Let me uh, apply the tail here for you guys. It did warm it up. It did soften up the tip, tip a little bit. So with the ball joint in, just plug it into the hole. And that wasn't bad at all. So right away, let's see, there is the completed tail, and I can see that there are way more joints in this tail than any other Godzilla figure that I can recall so far from NECA. Uh, before we go into that, let's just take a close look at the figure and enjoy all of the details. There is a awesome paint wash and dry brush effect throughout bringing out all the details with the new design you can see the feet are a little bit bigger than the 2014 Godzilla and of course the back fins are also changed for this version looking much cooler that's more like the Godzilla we know and love with the bigger back fins there, the dorsal fins, <clears throat> and I'm just loving that dry brush effect throughout bringing out all the details on this figure. The front of the figure there, and the other side once again. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at the articulation points. We can start off with the tail. I notice a lot of articulation in the tail this time. By the way, this is the backdrop that comes in the box, if you're wondering. Kind of cool there with the ships. But anyways, with the tail, you get 
Wow, let's see, how am I going to do this? There's a point here at the tip, so that's one. Sorry. One. Then you get one here, that's two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Oops, ten. I don't know if I got all that on camera here. I'm trying to move it while looking at the viewfinder. So again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, <clears throat> and at the very tip, ten. So ten points of articulation in the tail alone, which is pretty amazing. You get the legs, I believe they're on a ball joint, so there's a little bit of swivel there, but of course they do rotate around like so. At the knees, like so, there's another ball hinge joint. They go in and out. Ball joint at the feet, also allows it to pivot. You can see they're at the waist. And it's not too hindered by the fins, which is nice, so you can... I guess rotate that all the way around. Yep. So you can do that with your Godzilla. His arms again on a sort of ball joint there. Elbows, so you can bend them there. The wrist with a hinge, so they also go down. So much more <clears throat> range of motion on this figure. Uh, looks like there's a point here at the neck, but yeah, I can't seem to budget, so maybe it's just where they join the head, so I don't think that is meant to rotate. And right at the top of the head there, you get some rotation there, as well as the jaw, of course. So that's it as far as articulation points on the figure. Unfortunately, no other accessories, no fire breath or uh, little ships or anything like that for Godzilla to play with. But as an overall figure, the points of articulation are top notch. Again, NECA stepping it up even more with this version of Godzilla. I wish I had the 2014 figure <clears throat> for comparison, but unfortunately, I have that figure put away and I just can't get access to that figure right now but believe me this figure is quite impressive let me grab some of the other Godzilla figures that I do have in my collection that I can give you guys a quick comparison to with uh, this Godzilla so be right back and here we have some of the other NECA Godzilla figures I do have in my collection for size comparison. And you can see <clears throat> next to all of them the uh, Godzilla King of the Monsters figure appears to be probably the shortest. I don't know. Based on the design. can see there so though he does appear to be small in comparison he is still a great figure overall again I'm just loving the paint apps on this figure and the articulation points are just awesome <clears throat> if you want to see how tall he is. Let's see, I got my ruler there. He stands right at about six inches tall, as you can see there. And lengthwise, let's see, he would be from head to tail. Ooh, wow, easily, let's see, easily about 11 inches long, maybe 12. <clears throat> yeah, I'd say about 12 inches from head to tail if you're measure measuring that way so yep <clears throat> excuse me I'm coming down with a cold so my throat's getting kind of raspy there kind of hard to get my breath with my congested nose 
but uh, yeah I just wanted to give you guys a comparison there of Godzilla King of the Monsters with the other Godzilla figures again we have the King Kong versus Godzilla figure there Godzilla 2001 GMK the 90s Godzilla there and Shin Godzilla So I think I've covered pretty much everything. That's more or less it. Hopefully you guys enjoy this quick unboxing and review of the Godzilla 2000. Well, <laughs> I wanted to say 2019, but we're going to call him Godzilla King of the Monsters figure. Looking forward to the movie coming out very soon. What is it today? Today is May. Uh, where are we now? May 9th so just a few more weeks I believe so it's May 9th 2019 that I'm recording this video so yes definitely looking forward to the movie coming out soon that's it guys hopefully you enjoyed if you haven't already please subscribe take care keep on collecting and I will see you all next time bye bye